how are you doing? What is the announcement? This is going to be my first ever vlog. <gasps> and we're starting off 2021 with a bang. What are we getting up to this morning? So I started work so early. I just received a little package that I've ordered like weeks and weeks ago. I barely remember it. I've been saying to myself, I need to get my nails done. We are obviously in lockdown at the moment. Your girl has been looking so rough. These need to be sorted out. I placed an order in with AliExpress for these stick-on nails. Oh, excuse my nails. Look how orange and yellow and stained that is. Oh, it's not cute. I dyed my hair yesterday and it stained my fingernails, but we're going to ignore that. I've just measured out my nails. And I was debating whether I want to use the gel. That obviously lasts longer. Or do I just want to use nail glue? It's me, look. I've left the lid open now probably the freaking glue is dried so most of the fingers are like four and fives i'm gonna stick on my nails and let's see how it looks this is the before i'll show you the after and just like that it's completed excuse the one now that is pointing to mars this one but the nail length is normally really long because i effed up on this now i didn't put it on straight <laughs> So it's pointing to the left, so it makes my finger look so bent. I had to commit and cut all the other nails to make it shorter. Anyway, it's better than the pig trotter that was on my fingers before. This glue will last around about two weeks, but I'll have to give you a review on that to see if it actually lasts that long. Really need to have a designated box place to put all these nails because when it's in this bag, oh, so annoying. Chanel! There she is. Say hello to the vlog. And then we've got Coccolina. Now all I have to do is teach the other boy to know his name. What you doing? Sleeping as per usual. Another couch potato inside the house. He doesn't know any trick yet. We need to teach him how to pour, how to sit and eat nothing. This one is always attention seeking. Okay, back to work we go. <laughs> This is humongous to try and motivate me to drink water every day. The piss has got to stop being yellow. We caught him in the act. Let's be quiet. <laughs> did you did you see that? And he got all shy when we spotted him. You naughty 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 boy. Tickle tickle. You're about to fall off the bed, woman. Tickle, tickle. <gasps> wrong angle, wrong angle. Every morning I have this struggle. I cannot find my glasses. And you would have think that if someone blind like a mice can't see, they have a set location to put the glasses. Come on, dogs, you need to move out of the way. Mummy needs to look under these pillows. <laughs> I love you. Morning kisses. <laughs> kisses. <laughs> I think I see it. Is it there? I probably have to m squint to be able to see this. You guys need to do your poo poo, and mummy needs to do her one first, though. <laughs> the struggles of mother life having to pick up two disabled dogs. <laughs> day another grind it's tuesday morning today what have we got on the agenda our nine to five job what else yesterday i got a late night delivery from amazon I decided to order another tripod selfie stick stand because i wanted a longer version the one that i have on at the moment is really short freaking tiny i thought it would be a lot more sturdy than this oh, i don't like this it looks too flimsy basically this is how compact it is really wanted with something that's extendable screw it on top of here so you can extend it even further here and it makes it extra long but the reason why i'm returning it is i just feel that these stands is very plasticky it's not sturdy the one that i have at the moment feels like it's metal and it feels like it won't break on you with this i put my camera on top yesterday and the legs it it just feels like it's gonna fall apart so we're returning this my Amazon purchase fail. My face looks so dry and crusty. We are going to put a bit of moisturiser on. I need to put a bit of oil on my face, I think, because it looks terrible. Vitamin C. 
Pussy Cream, it's called um, Sea Rush Brightening Double Creme by Ole Herrickson. A lot of like little pigmentations on my face and apparently vitamin C really helps get rid of that. We also use a bit of squalene by The Ordinary. This stove is shameful. Look how dirty it is. Mrs. Hinch this morning. Whilst we're talking about cleaning products, I thought I'd share with you two items that I must have for cleaning inside your kitchen. This was recommended by Mrs. Hinch, and I think she actually promotes this. And she's got her own version where it will say Mrs. Hinch. But this is so cheap and affordable, but it is so multitasking. You can use this for all sorts of purposes. I love this. And look how much I've used. I've bought bottles and bottles. Really good proper cleans this out another item that i feel that you need do you wash your dishes with a sponge i hate it when i wash it with a sponge you know you get so much bacteria the build up and all that sort of stuff it's it's quite unhygienic however this is a new type of invention it's a brush so unique about this is i hate fucking pumping the soap onto the sponge so this brush actually opens up and you can put your dishwasher liquid in here and while you're washing your dishes, there's a little button right up top of here that you literally just press. Oh, did you see that squirt? That's a lot of liquid. It's so handy. I love it. It's by the brand called Joseph Joseph. And then while you're cleaning it, you just use the brush and then you rinse it and it's clean. It's got its own little holder here, which is so convenient. You just shove it in there and you let it dry. When you use your sponge, you're letting it soak moisture. This air dries it and gives that space so you don't have that buildup of bacteria. Just magical. Just an amazing invention and I would highly recommend everyone to get this by Joseph. Joseph, I got this from TK Maxx. I think I've also seen it in like Tesco's and Sainsbury, but I'm sure if you look on Amazon, it's available. It's around about £10, but definitely worth it. And it's quite a cute little presentation as well. Very compact and well designed. He loves watching me. So he'll just sit there all day long watching the master piece at work. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he saw a flying do kick and he got scared. Hello, munchkin. Do you love me yet? Am I officially your mummy? This morning, I feel like I really want to go and get a coffee. Should I go and get a coffee? I know we can only get a takeout. However, I feel like it would be a good reason to take the dogs out, get a quick coffee, go back to work. I literally got an hour left until the time buzz is on for me to start work. Should we do it? Let me just show you how cold it is outside. Oh, that's the motivation this morning. He's running. Yeah, it looks wet outside. Mm, should we do it? Come on, let's do it. We got our attire on. Therefore, I take them on a walk, I have to wear this body bag because Coco, he cannot walk. Got two leashes hanging from my body by a rope. Chanel, you've already got your harness on already. It's Coco's turn. <coughs> What's the point of putting a harness on Coco? He never walks anyway. But just in case he needs a little waddle around the street. And there's a little man. I'm just going to put Coco in the bag straight away because we haven't got time. We've got 45 minutes to go and get the coffee and come home. This is what I look like each time I go dog walking, like a crazy woman. I just like to wear the fur coat on because it's so cold. His head is forever pointing down. He doesn't like walks. We have finally arrived. I need to tie the dog somewhere. I think this part will have to do. Ever safe to leave three Pomeranian dogs by themselves? Just from here to there, I think we should be fine. They're watching me. We've got our coffee. Thank you. Still safe and sound. I have officially become that person. This morning, I took the dogs on a walk. Such a struggle. The rain was pouring. One dog was like being carried. Chanel, like, 
the only working dog. <laughs> you guys don't know the history behind Romeo. He was rehoming. I got him around about two weeks ago and he's got a bad leg. So he tries his best and I'm so, so proud of him. He can only walk for a certain amount of time when he needs a rest. And he was just sitting there like, <laughs> I just like, oh my God, clock is ticking, clock is ticking. We need to go, we need to go. I've given in. I bought a doggy stroller. Who have I become? Yeah, I'm officially that doggy mum. Someone's at the door. Car delivery has arrived. Exciting, I think it's the dog buggies. This bad boy. Let's put Romeo in there first. Oh, he fits, he fits. Most likely both of them will need to get in there. They fit. Third dog, let's see if she fits. Fatty, you need to squeeze up a bit. It's the verdict so far, guys. Do you like it? I decided to add in some bedding to make it more comfortable for the dog. Got attachments here, which you can hook to their harnesses. This other one, it's just like a D bar. I've attached some D clips so that I can attach their leashes. There's cup holders here. So while I'm walking, and if I have this over, I can actually see what they're doing inside. They actually come out of here so you can unzip this. So if they are laying down, there's also a little peep hole here, which they can still see outside. It's still breathable. This is mesh. You can actually zip this all the way down so your dog is nice and enclosed. We got little Chanel on the side and the two dogs are in the buggy. I look like one of those crazy dog mamas, but we're gonna explore. Is this weird that I'm so excited over this product? Mio loves it. He's just like so peacefully, just looking out about a care in the world. He's loving life right now. <laughs> moisturize we are going to put on some makeup and just like that we've got a full beat on it feels so good when you have makeup i've been filming some videos so this makeup look will be on my instagram so make sure you follow me on my instagram if you don't already do but today what have we got on the agenda i'm going to pick up my sister in around about 15 minutes time so i'm running so late guys i filmed some tiktok videos and i feel so productive this morning we've got a little bit of adventure i haven't seen my sister in such a long time maybe you'll see her on the vlog do you guys remember how fat and chubby chanel was and now she's a skinny mini what's this diet that you're on share the secret love this one yeah, how loud he snores. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Bad bitch is back in town. Look at my nails. We did a new set and already one man down. Actually, quite a few soldiers down. This side, we've got two hanging left. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but clearly I ain't no nail expert. But anyway, I feel that I'm going to end this vlog here. It is Sunday and we'll have the continuation on for next week when my sister actually joins us. Make sure you give me a like and comment down below. Did you enjoy this vlog? Are you a crazy dog mama like me? Are you obsessed? Come on. They're cute. They're cute. They're cute. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe. And I'm sure I'll upload every sunday and we'll have some interesting vlogs we'll have interesting content i want some of your opinions on what type of content you want to see from me and you never know it might be coming your way